Welcome to the program Getting Ready for Group Discussion The MM Patel Way In this session we will discuss qualities an assessor shall look for during a group discussion session Visit www.youtube.com and search Maganlal Patel for more videos An assessor shall look for the following basic qualities during a group discussion session 1. Active and enthusiastic participation 2. Communication skills 3. Leadership qualities and traits 4. Team working and interpersonal skills 5. Creative and innovative thinking for problem solving 6. Analytical thinking and approach 7. Problem solving and planning 8 self confidence 9 your attitude towards yourself other people and circumstances 10 knowledge of the topic and related issues and finally 11 your body language now let us discuss each quality in detail the first one is active and enthusiastic participation this is the first important thing if the duration of discussion is half an hour and there are six participants average participation works out to 5 minutes per participant and therefore your total participation should be between 4 to 6 minutes if you take less than 4 minutes it will be considered under participation and if you take more than 6 minutes it will be over participation and if you are dominating the participation you might score negative however if you find that there are many non speaking participants in that case you can take more time however first you should encourage them to speak during discussion even after you are encouraging them if they don't come out then you can take more time you must remember that without participation you can't project your capabilities so the message is clear participate participate and participate your participation should be consistent it should not happen that you speak once and speak for a long duration then you withdraw and don't participate at all your participation should be as and when required and you should project consistency of your participation next your participation should be active and enthusiastic you should not participate for the sake of participation you should be active throughout the process and you should project your enthusiasm your enthusiasm should help team remain active your participation should be involved and concerned and your participation should contribute to the process of team discussion and the result of the topic this is most important if you speak and speak and speak and you speak irrelevant you speak when it is not needed to be spoken you interrupt others unnecessarily in these situations you are not contributing to the process positively in fact your contribution is negative similarly if a task is given or a topic is given your participation should contribute to the outcome of the task next is your communication verbal communication is the most essential quality required to improve our interpersonal effectiveness verbal communication is not only a physical process but a psychological one too many a times we feel that our communication is a physical process no when we communicate we get into communication process psychologically involved and therefore in a group discussion session you project many of your psychological traits our communication projects are inner personality it includes active listening and concerned speaking both increase our self confidence and ability to influence others qualities of effective communication are it should be clear it should be logical 
it should be systematic it should be sequential your points should be spoken one by one in a sequence and not in a haphazard manner it should be relevant this is a very important point it should be elaborate with required precision you should give details when you speak but you should avoid over detailing and therefore you should learn how to elaborate with precision it should be accurate and rational it should be complete it should be effective and if you are taking care of all the points which we discussed it should serve the intended purpose if you remember the last point you will be able to contribute to the process and the result of a group discussion session unless and until we realize the intended purpose of our communication there is no point making communication in fact if we do not realize the intended purpose we have wasted time in communication remember all the points all the time and when you communicate next evaluate your communication using these parameters you can make this evaluation every time you communicate to others the next quality is leadership leadership traits leadership behavior and leadership skills the reason leadership is the competence sought after most these days generally leadership is not assigned to an individual in group discussions this gives an opportunity to you to take initiative and perform leadership functions let's see the details now let's try to understand what leadership is this understanding will help you projecting your leadership traits leadership is reasoning having clarity of total picture of the task and the outcome taking responsibility for planning and execution of task taking initiative and risks taking people together by utilizing their potential what a leader does he does two things he manages task and at the same time he manages people now a leader will understand potential of the people and he will utilize their potential to the maximum if you can do this in group discussion session nothing like it next developing potential and empowering people to move ahead development of subordinates and people is most important leadership function next having consistent focus on the end result to be achieved now whatever you do in a group discussion session if you have not contributed to the outcome your communication is not worthy now you should communicate you should take part but you should always remember that you are taking part and you are communicating is contributing to the end result and finally leadership is coordinating the group activities and working for overall contribution leadership and contribution go hand in hand a leadership without contribution is not a leadership the next team working and interpersonal skills in all walks of life we are required to be members of one or the other group working to meet common objectives the objectives could be immediate short term or long term in a group discussion session the objectives are rather immediate an effective group member contributes in the process as well as contents of the discussion and naturally outcome of the task his interpersonal qualities makes him acceptable as a contributing member of the group team working should not be misunderstood with making people happy by surrendering or accommodating at the cost of achievement many of us might think that in a group discussion session a major task is to keep people happy and together keeping people happy and together is all okay but not at the cost of achievement and at no point of time you should surrender 
or accommodate people at the cost of achievement this is most important you can surrender if required by the task you can accommodate people if required by the task team working is taking care of people and at the same time taking care of process and taking care of the result the next quality is creative thinking we can call it innovative thinking we can also call it out of the box thinking creativity is one of the most essential skills for problem solving and decision making in innovative ways it helps us to see an issue from all sides including unconventional and apparently irrelevant ones and to come out with innovative solutions in short creativity is seeing something which is not so obvious and generally is not seen explicitly by others the next is analytical thinking now first let us understand what analysis is analysis is breaking down an issue or topic into its constituent parts the constituent parts will be smaller but identifiable and controllable identifying the real problem and choosing the best course of action for a solution analysis is one of the most essential skills for problem solving and decision making it is also useful for activity planning and monitoring and making situational changes for better performance the next quality is problem solving and planning planning is essential to complete activity as scheduled using available or planned resources planning skill is essential for overall personal effectiveness as we are always engaged in activities and the resources available to us are mostly in limited quantities needing optimum utilization your analytical skill will be demonstrated by your communication let's refer back to the parameters for evaluating communication your communication should be clear logical sequential relevant elaborate with required precision accurate and rational complete and it should serve the intended purpose if you project these qualities in your communication your problem solving and planning skills will get automatically projected next is your most important personal trait and that is self confidence self confidence is an important trait of one's personality the essential elements of self confidence are self awareness and self acceptance unless and until you accept yourself supported by self awareness you will suffer with either inferiority complex or superiority complex resulting in passive or aggressive behavior this is very important aspect in a group discussion session you should never project a passive personality and at the same time you should not project an aggressive personality you should project a balanced personality now let's try to understand who is a balanced person a balanced person will stand for his views and his opinion in spite of resistance and non acceptance by others he will not unduly surrender and at the same time he will not be unduly aggressive he will be able to stand for his views confidently and assertively self confidence is essential for healthy interpersonal relationship and personal effectiveness the next is your attitude everything in our life begins with our attitudes motives and our values before you start managing situations and other people it's essential to be aware of your psychological and physical makeup this awareness help you in managing situations irrespective of whether situations are adverse or favorable it will also help you in managing people bad or good accepting or rejecting 
naturally this will help you managing situations and people effectively your attitudes can be divided as follows your attitude towards yourself and your life your attitude towards others and your attitude towards environment at this point i would like to add that you should show a positivity and action orientation in your attitudes you should never project negativity for yourself for other people and the situations you should not project that you are the one who surrenders to circumstances you should prove that you are the one who creates circumstances and who creates maximum opportunities out of whatever circumstances you get in instead of becoming slaves to circumstances it is much better to be boss of circumstances your life should not be governed by circumstances rather you should govern the circumstances and if you can project this attitude nothing like it and for projecting this attitude the most important point you should remember is you should project action orientation the reason action is the proof of your attitude you can say you are highly self motivated but the main question to be answered is what action did you take to prove your self motivation you can say that you are highly positive but the question is what action did you take as a highly positive person if you cannot support your attitudes by your action and the outcome of your action you are simply talking of your attitudes you are not converting your attitudes to final results in life the next important point is knowledge the assessor may desire to check your intellectual ability with reference to a particular subject the knowledge requirement can be categorized as knowledge of the subject in question knowledge of related subjects and ability to link topics and issues the third ability to link topics and issues makes you versatile to demonstrate relating ability i'll tell you a small joke the joke is height of thrust in summer season i repeat height of thrust in summer season two poles fought for a dog i repeat two poles fought for a dog it took me time to understand but when i understood i laughed and i saluted the ability of creator to relate issues now the last one is body language you communicate verbally using words you also communicate non verbally using your body language Unfortunately you may not be aware of what signals you send to the assessor and other members of the group For example when you get bored or disinterested you lean back and look up or start playing with your pen or fingers When you are non confident you look down When you are angry and aggressive you point your first finger to others When you don't have an answer you look up or down or sideways When you are not in agreement your face becomes tense You should remember that unknowingly you give these signals to the assessors and they evaluate your skills using your body language and therefore you should remain composed throughout the group discussion session Let us repeat the qualities we discussed. One, participation. Equal, consistent, active, and enthusiastic. Two, communication. Logical, relevant, and result focused. Three, leadership. Process and result focused. People focused. 
फोर टीम वर्क एंड इंटरपर्सनल स्किल्स फ्रेंड फिलोसोफर एंड गाइड फाइव क्रिएटिव थिंकिंग थिंक आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स सी वॉट अदर्स आर नॉट सींग सिक्स एनलिटिकल थिंकिंग सिक्वेंशियल रिलेवेंट प्रिसाइस एंड लॉजिकल विथ रीजनिंग सेवन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड प्लानिंग फोकस ऑन सोल्यूशन नॉट ऑन पर्सनैलिटीज एट सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस कंपोस्ट इन एडवर्स सिचुएशंस स्टैंड फॉर योर ओन व्यूज नाइन एटीट्यूड टू वॉट्स योर सेल्फ अदर्स एंड सरकमस्टांसेस पॉजिटिव एक्शन ओरिएंटेशन टेन नॉलेज ऑफ द टॉपिक एंड रिलेटेड इश्यू थॉरो एंड लर्निंग ओरिएंटेड इलेवन बॉडी लैंग्वेज इन्वॉल्व कंसर्न एक्टिव एंड कंपोज योर टास्क ड्यूरिंग ए ग्रुप डिस्कशन सेशन is to project these qualities please remember you are not participating to win a personal battle your objective is not to prove yourself right your objective is not to bring everybody to your line of thinking your basic objective is to project your positive personality traits and your skills and therefore do not get into personal fights do not get into ego conflicts and never take anything personally focus on projecting your personal qualities focus on projecting your personal qualities focus on projecting your personal qualities and that is all visit www.youtube.com and search maganlal patel for more videos on getting ready for group discussion the mm patel way